Easy peeps, welcome back to another episode of My Rise. How you doing? Hope everybody is okay. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also drop a thumbs up on the video. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Right. Recap. We are WWE Champion. We are 24-7 Champion. And now we are going for Ciampa's US title. He told us to pick the stipulation of the match. We was we, we didn't really know which one we wanted to go for. But in the end, because we haven't done one yet, we've gone for the Iron Man match. So, we have Iron Man match, Quinn, Quick Stop Hicks, Tomasa Champa, US title on the line. We want all the bouts. We want to put him in our trophy cabinet. We want to, we want to be the first ever all the title holder. <laughs> all the titles. We want them all. So, can we actually get through Chiampa? Let's find out. It's his Goldie. It's not quite his NXT Goldie. Or Stripey, or whatever he's calling it. <laughs> NXT was Goldie, this one's Stripey. I like it. Clever. I'll see what he did. So, we're going to take his Stripey from him. Because we the want every Tampa single title. Himself the black heart because he makes no distinction between friend and foe inside the ring. And Byron, that never bodes well for Champa's opponents. A man driven by desire and passion, which is interpreted by some as unbridled ruthlessness. Now you look at Champa, you look at a guy who has threatened careers, ruined psyches, and that's for the people he actually likes. That's the genius of being able to take the humanity out of the equation. Introducing the challenger from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 229 pounds, Quinn Hicks. And introducing the champion from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Tommaso. This is all for the highly decorated United States Championship. Harley Race, the inaugural champion, truly a tough man's title. Tomasa Ciampa has overcome more physical setbacks than almost any other superstar in WWE, and tonight, He'll have to overcome his greatest challenge yet to defend his U.S. championship. The challenger has been targeting Champa's injuries on social media, and tonight he'll target them inside the ring in one of WWE's most grueling matches. Two fearless superstars willing to push their bodies to the limit for a title. This is what Monday Night Raw is all about. Iron Man match then against Ciampa. 15 minutes in game, it actually works out to be. Most falls wins. The champ getting put to the test here. From the heavens, big time splash. Disheartening situation for the Blackheart. Champa needs to rely on his intensity here. Oh, what a mayorana. Oh, 
stomp it away. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Tampa, one step ahead. This is right forearm. You know, one thing that doesn't get credited enough in this game, right, is how how seamless the commentary is. Obviously, some of the lines aren't going to be spot on all the time, but you can legit just let the commentary roll, man. It's it's such an underappreciated part of this game, man. It's really, really well done. Big old boot. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. He had it scouted. A running hurricane Rana. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Yeah, this has been a grueling Iron Man match, and you cannot deny that they are feeling it. Oh, look at the elbow. Look at just hammered away in the back. So if you remember, sometimes we do moan about the linearness of the story, but this against Chiampa actually does have a little bit of history. If you remember, when we was in the Royal Rumble, we was on the top row. We was about to play a move, and Chiampa pulled down the top row as he got eliminated and knocked us out of the rumble. Technically, we technically knocked ourselves out, but it was because of Chiampa going over the top rope. He actually cost us the Royal Rumble match. Uh oh, way too oh, Champa getting dismantled here. Champa has to weather it. Oh, looks like we're going to see Selena Del Sol. The quick stop. For the 1 0. We are 1 0 up. Oh, boy, damn it. So far, that turned into 2 0 up. As we're going to bring in a tail end of this match now, we are 2 0 up in the Iron Man match. He's able to fend off the attack. And this is it for the US title. Champa getting dismantled here. Champa needs to rely on his intensity here. He has a right where he wants him. And Champa hits back. Momentum isn't completely out of Champa's side just yet. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. It looks like we're going to see it. Selena Del Sol. The title might change hands. This could be it. Cover for the win. He gets a fall. Ooh. And he's keeping the pressure on. Yeah, he is staying steady and ferocious. Part of the champ to fight back from this. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Uh-oh. Way too oh, oh, diving moonsault! Champa showing instinct. That will get your attention. He deflects it right back. Wards off that move by Champa. Countered it just in time. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Kick lands. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Oh, basement drop kick. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, it looks like we're going to see it. Selena Del Sol. We can have a... so another quick stop to make it 4-0 in the Iron Match against Chiampa. We try and get a cheeky last one in, but we didn't need it. We've done it! Has been dethroned. And now it's time for him to say goodbye to his precious Stripey. Maybe he doesn't want to. Goodbye, Stripey! We are the US champion! He doesn't seem too happy about it, but apparently Champa is ready to accept his loss. All the titles! What a match that was, by the way! Whoa, what, what the heck? Oh no, what's he doing? 
Champ has lost it. Obviously, he wasn't ready to accept this loss. Oh my God, what's he doing with those steel steps? I think we've seen this before in Champa's epic battles with Johnny Gargano. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fairy tale ending on oh, the steel sh stairs. The new United States champion could be severely injured. Yeah, he came crashing down face and rib first on those unforgiving steps. Oh no, security's out. And would you look at that? Champa isn't going to part ways with Stripey after all. He's leaving with the United States Championship. Just all around disgraceful actions that we've witnessed here tonight. In any event, stay tuned for updates on the new champion's condition. Here's an update, not good. Champa's leaving with Stripey and breaking news from WWE after the post-match attack by Champa. Quick Star Picks has suffered three broken ribs and I'm going to be out of action for six weeks. Mandy Rose has declared due to injury. Quick Star Picks, he's been... The, what? We are no longer the champion. Chiampa is still US champion. What? She stripped us of the title. She wants to have a word with us. Oh no. What's she gonna say? I just saw your post. You're stripping me of the title I just won? Yeah, cause I just saw your x-rays and you're going to be out for over a month, which is a month without the US championship being defended on Raw. I have no other choice. You never wanted me to beat Champa. All you care about is keeping his record breaking reign going for the brand and ratings. That's my job to care about that stuff. Besides, we wouldn't be having this conversation if you weren't soft. <laughs> That's what you called Champa, right? He attacked me after the match. You know, the match where I beat him. Look, you can go to the performance center, rehab your injury, then come back at full strength, and you'll most likely have a rematch waiting for you. Most likely? A lot can happen in six weeks. The alternative is you face Ciampa for the championship next week while gasping for air with a chest full of broken ribs, most likely lose, and then maybe never get a shot again. But either way, the title's returning to someone who can defend it immediately at 100%. So what do you want to do? I don't care what you, Ciampa, or anyone else says about being soft. I'm not going to risk my career for one match. I'll be back for my US title when I'm 100%. All right, I'll let the PC know you're coming. Wow, so we've got to go back to the performance center where it all started because we are out of action for six weeks. Hey, sorry to hear about what happened with Champa, but I can help you start off on your road to recovery. Cheers, Chase. No way, so we've got to go back to the PC where we are still currently as it, I don't know if the game remembers, we are still currently WWE title holder, 24-7 title holder, and we are still in the US title picture. But for now, we've got to work our way back up again. So we are back at the Performance Center, having warm-up matches, getting ourselves over our injury. We've got Chase. You can see we're starting off with low energy there. So that means we you know we're still not at 100%. So we've got to work our way back up by doing tune-up matches in the performance center. Pretty cool idea, to be fair. That, that, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That is a pretty cool idea. So Chase, my boy, if you don't, if you didn't catch the beginning of the series, Chase was obviously one of the people at the beginning at the PC. But unfortunately, as you can see, Chase is still at the PC. <laughs> so Hector and Paragon JPS. They all got promoted to like NXT and SmackDown. And Chase is still at the PC. And Chase is still taking beatings at the PC. And that's okay, but he hasn't forgot about us. You know, there was that time he did he did a start here, that indie show, if you remember. That that was a little bit rough. But it's alright. I, I got a lot of love for Chase. I got a lot of love for Chase. Unfortunately, he's just not a very good wrestler. So we hit Chase. <laughs> With the quick stop in our first warm-up match, we're trying to recover from injury at the PC. 
and Chase ain't going anywhere. So update, back at the PC where we all started, ribs already feeling better. We'll be back stronger than ever to reclaim what's mine. Stripey, we are coming for you. Champa's update. He's still the greatest US champion in history, greater than Austin Piper Cena and definitely Quick Star Picks. Cheeky little plug. Go and follow us on Twitter at Quick Star Picks. We hold Stripey for less than an hour. Who should that do? Mate, it was more like five minutes. <laughs> It was more like five minutes. But don't you know, we are the WWE title holder as well. The game's forgot, but I, I won't. I, I remember. Anyway, so we are still at the PC. What's going to happen next episode as we work our way back to the main roster as we recover from injury and we're on the path to get Stripey back off to Maso Champa. Can we do it? What's the recovery going to be like? There's only one way to find out, and that's in the next episode of My Rise. If you are new around here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, a cheeky little thumbs up on the video would be fantastic as well. Hey, thanks for watching. But now we are out of here. Much love as always. I'll catch you in a bit.